Welcome back guys. We've got another vintage dinosaur book here from 1975. Collins Book of Dinosaurs. So firstly no copyright is attended here. All artwork belongs to their owners. I'm just a big dinosaur fan, prehistoric life fan and I just want to share this book to, to people that may have never seen it, heard of it, to just show, to share how, um, you know, how dinosaur books were, were written up and illustrated over 40 years ago. So they're not forgotten in time and everyone gets to enjoy them in one way or another. So as we open up, we've got some nice illustrations here in black and white. We've got a full neck lizard there. That's an Australian lizard. That's our lizard. Australian lizard. <laughs> yeah, 1975. Yeah, this is the fourth impression, so maybe it's 1976. Ah, uh, the terrible lizards. Here we go. We've got Brachiosaurus, Allosaurus there. Look, he's hungry. just got some more little pictures and Silophysis and some other animals probably in the Triassic period it's, good. it's got some plants there too I like that I like when plants get a bit of love a Patsosaurus alright it's not Displayed here as Brontosaurus, so which is good. So yeah, we've got a Patosaurus here. Brachiosaurus the Podocus at the top. Stegosaurus, that's a nice little fat picture there. Allosaurus is trying to get a good easy meal, but I think he's up for a challenge there. Little horse tails. I like the little de little details, you know. There we go. Bang, he's finished. Oh yes, look, present day full neck lizard. Yeah. So we've got Olosaurus here as well, the hunter of giants. So he's, looks like he's probably scavenging there, I would say. Judging by that picture, he's finished his meal. No, he's actually caught the sauropod. Yeah, he's had a good feed. Alright, we're going to the early Cretaceous Iguanodon. So he looks a bit, a bit of a rip there. I'm not gonna pronounce it, but look at that. He called himself a little pterosaur. Got some big, big plants there. Yeah, a little pterosaur there. It's a nice little picture, that one. And that's the Saurus. The most. Probably the most famous duck. Oh, I don't know if it's the most famous duck bill anymore compared to some of the others, but probably the Parasaurophilus is probably the most famous one because it was in Jurassic Park 1. You kind of see them. Parasaurus. Triceratops. So you can see this was like painted on canvas. But I enjoy all paleo artwork. Triceratops. Monoclonus, which looks more like a Centosaurus there. Chasmosaurus. 
Tyrannosaurus Rex. All right, we're gonna chow down a bit of armor. <laughs> oh yeah, bang, Ankylosaurus. Gotta be careful, T Rex. You're gonna get your skull bashed in. Yeah, I really enjoy these little black and white pictures in this one. Look at that. Somehow T-Rex managed to flip him over, so he's going to be an easy meal if you can't get back onto his legs. So yeah, really cool little black and white pictures there. Got an interesting got a snake there. What? Snakes, I think, did appear in the... They appear in the Lake Cretaceous. Megalosaurus. Mm, interesting. And there's more of these little artworks that they had in the book. So not not a bad little book for its time, the seventies. Um, obviously, it was illustrated by Tom McGowan. Oh, not Tom. Sorry, Rod Ruth. So yeah, it's. It's good to go back in time and have a look at these books. Again, like I always say, please let me know in the comments if you read this book growing up or have any more information about it. Or what part of the world maybe. Um, if you've ex experienced this book, what part of the world you're from. Um... A lot of these older books that you see, of, I usually pick them up from um, from op shops and thrift stores. Sometimes online, I do enjoy finding them though in the in the wild because it makes me happy that they weren't trashed and I was able to kind of rescue them. Uh, I do hear about some charities that some of the older books are kind of just. They may just get rid of them because they're outdated. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming with me all the way to 1975 and having a look at this vintage dinosaur book. Anyway, guys, take care and I'll see you next time.